Holy dooly, I am so sorry guys. I'm running really behind schedule for today's Tuesday tutorial. And because I've only got about three minutes to get through today's, I'm gonna have to do something really easy and simple. I'm going to show you how to create an online form. Yeah, that's right, easy and simple. I know, it is, promise. Why an online form? Well, it's cost effective, cheap, not to mention that waste of paper. It's innovative and creative, and it will allow you to better portray the personality of your business or your company. I've already wasted, what, 20 seconds talking about what I'm gonna do. So let's jump into Paperform platform and take a look at how easy it is to set up an online form. Okay guys, two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. From your web browser, go into the address bar, type paperform.co and hit enter, boom. Now you're prompted to input an email address. I'm gonna put my email address, alexsforms at gmail.com. Then hit, get started. All right, now we're at the login page. Input your name and a password. I think I'll keep mine a secret from you guys. Click those two boxes and click start free trial. Now we're getting taken to our paper form dashboard. Oh sweet, I've got a message here from Johnny. Hi Alex, welcome to paper form. Well, thank you, Diony. Thank you very much. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna click Create Blank Form. Now we're taking a look at the process of creating our very first online form. Creating our first form will give us a walkthrough guide of how we can use paper form. But I'm only here for a short amount of time, so I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna show you how to input your first question field. I wanna ask for my submitter's first name. I'm gonna click into that blank space and we'll see the control panel appear on the left. I'm gonna hit that question icon and we can see we've had our first question field added to our form. Voila. Next, I'm gonna change the title to first name, but I also want to ask for the last name. Add question and it's as easy as that. Last name, boom, there we go. Hmm, what about an email field? Add question and then I'm gonna move over to this drop down menu and boom. We have over 20 possible question fields to choose from. I'm gonna click email and ensure I change that title to email. Also, I'm gonna to need to include a phone number question. So I'm gonna click that drop down menu again, boom, voila, phone number. All right, this is my simple sign up form. I've created it, but I need to add some more elements. How about a title? Sign up form, highlight that, and you'll see the option bar appear above. Gonna inline that with the middle. I'm gonna make that a heading one. It's almost there, but I wanna include my logo. I'm gonna push that down below, click in this newly made blank space, and click on the add picture icon. Boom, looking good. Now, what happens if I click on the image? You guessed it, the option bar appears above. Once again, in line. I'm gonna click on that bottom right corner to drag and resize, all right. It's looking good, but it's not portraying the personality of my business. So, from here, I'm gonna click on the theme settings icon. All right, look at the options we have here. It's time to start personalizing our form. First and foremost, let's change that background color. Something colorful, but still subtle. Next, the active color. Let's go for a brighter orange. Next, I wanna change those fonts. It's currently quite boring. Hmm, what could we use? What have we got? What have we got? I'm liking Bebis. Yeah, that's my go-to. Then I'm gonna put it in for my secondary font as well. Boom, bang, boom. Looking much better. Next, I wanna remove the box behind my questions. I'm gonna hit UI elements, where I have the ability to configure the appearance of my form much more. So, questions, remove background and shadow. Yeah, let's jump back to the editor. That's looking much better. Professional if I do say so myself. Now, heading into configure, we need to give a title to our form. Of course, it's gonna be Alex's form, because it is mine. Perfect, save those changes. Now, I wanna take a look at the front end of my form. Top right corner, eye icon, boom, click that. Easy peasy. It's looking professional and steezy. From here, 
I'm going to exit and I need to start collecting submission data. So hit share, highlight that, copy, and that is the link you will share with people who you want to submit your form. It's as easy as that. I told you that was going to be simple. Now it's time for you to have a go. I've got to get out of here. Good luck and happy form making.